Welcome to Goma Games. This is the second video in a series of uh, Goma Games tips, and uh, this is, uh, I guess you would say, Road uh, 2, I guess is the best way to say it. Uh, the first uh, video, we laid down the uh, road here, created a very, very simple entrance to your city, and uh, laid down a couple of roads. What we're going to go over today is uh, the road tools and uh, how to uh, create slopes and overpasses and uh, tunnels. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button uh, so you can uh, tune in to uh, all these videos. So uh, the first thing we're going to go over is the uh, road tools here. So uh, you can lay a straight road here with this uh, first tool. That's the default. Uh, when you left pick, it automatically uh, it the road straight until you get to a certain angle, and then it starts to curve a little bit, but that's not really uh, the curve tool, but uh, uh, the, the road will stay, uh, stay straight in a, in a straight line as you lay that down. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and uh, another road there. Another road here. And then let's create a curved road. So we'll go to this second tool here. And uh, you pick a road just like you normally would. But instead of uh, the road coming out instantly, it gives you your first option as you're selecting like the arc of the road. Um, the uh, Where the corner or where the curve will, will start. So I'm going to go down 10 units or where that first bar is and then left pick and then uh, go over 10 units and that created a perfect 90 degree curve and then uh, keeping that tool on I'm going to go over 10 units and back up 10 units and then what that did was create a perfect 100 degree, 180 degree turn uh, so we're going right back up to where we were coming I switched it back to the straight straight road and then went right to uh, the road again and uh, created a, uh, a perfect curve through there. Now uh, the third tool here is the uh, freeform road tool and what that is uh, you can either start at a node or you could just uh, pick a road, uh, pick a start lo location anywhere and then it, it works the same as the curve on your first um, pick, pick the angle of the uh, uh, curve, and then when you pick the second time, um, you instantly start to where the road is moving again, uh, or where it's curved, curved again. So it takes a little getting used to. Um, I usually use this when I want a road to be a little bit more uh, free flowing or um, like a, a, a highway or a country country lane or something like that it's usually what I use this for um, I don't you really use it in in the city proper very often um, but you can uh, you can do some pretty interesting things with that um, now the fourth tool here is the upgrade button and it does a couple different things um, the first thing it will do is if you have one-way roads like highways and just the one-way streets uh, you pick the one-way street here uh, now it has to be the exact same one-way street it can't be uh, a different one because if you pick a different one it will uh, change it to the different road but if you pick the same one that it is um, that we laid down and you right click it changes the direction one way road so you can do that with with any of the one way roads if you switch over to the highway um, it does the same thing um, with this well actually I can't do it because it's outside the city limits but you get the idea there now another thing that you can do uh, which you've already seen there it will upgrade the road um, say this is an avenue here it's a four lane avenue with a median <laughs> and uh, we have just a two-lane street here um, so you just highlight it and then you left click 
and it changes it to that four lane avenue. Actually, I didn't have that selected. I had the other four lane road selected, but either way, it, it changes it to uh, the four lane road there. Now you can also hold it and kind of and drag it, um, and uh, and it will uh, change multiple segments at a time. Uh, one uh, interesting thing here is when you get something like this, what you have to do is uh, that's not going to work because that's what move it. Um, so used to using that. Um, what you may have to do is delete this, delete these roads. And put them in again. There, that's a little bit better. Um, so that way it looks, it makes a little bit more sense. It's not as uh, uh, angled as the other ones. So just delete it and, and put it back in there. Okay, now uh, the next thing we're going to do is create an overpass or a slope. So go back to your uh, two-lane road. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use a node. You don't have to, but I'm going to use this node guideline right here and just create a road. And then I'm going to go here and use the opposite guideline and just create a couple, uh, couple segments out here. And then, um, so those are on opposite sides of the uh, avenue there, and we're going to create an overpass over this. So you pick on this just like you're building another road. Uh, get it as close to the avenue as possible and then hit the page up button and what you want to do is look at your meters down here and uh, you want this to be about eight meters is uh, where you want that to be um, You could probably put it a little bit higher to 10 meters, but sometimes that, depending on the road type, that makes the gap a little bit too high. So eight meters is usually uh, usually pretty good. Now you want to stop right here at this first line, so that way there's a pillar that goes in, and when you just uh, left click and then drag it over, and then uh, when you drag it down, it'll automatically connect to that node there. And then there you've got a uh, instant uh, overpass there. Now to do a tunnel, uh, it's kind of the same way. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this node here. And use this node here. You just pick the road like you're uh, drawing it. And then you just hit the... Uh, page down button until you get to 8 meters is where it becomes a tunnel. I usually go down to 10, um, but that's kind of personal preference. And then just go to the first line just like I did there on the other one. And then just drag it across to the first line. And then just page up, or if you go forward it will connect to that uh, node on the surface. So then it will create a, uh, a tunnel. So then you have a, uh, a nice tunnel under your under your uh, uh, road there. All right, uh, that is the second video there: slopes, tunnels, and uh, some road tools there. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave any comments, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going.